<laughs> hey, what's up guys? I'm Sal from Chronostick and this is something special. Something that's about to create a disruption in the smartphone game. Better than the genius, as they like to put it. Packed inside a nicely made box, says so much yet shows so less. This my friends is the Lee One S. Right from the very first glance, you're gonna fall in love with it. But for now, hold on to that temptation. Let's see what comes beneath this chunk of metal. This right here is the SIM ejector tool, along with a couple of guides, but these right here are all in Chinese, but you'll probably be getting the English ones, so no worries about that. And this right here is a nicely built USB Type-C fast charger. Again, it has the same American pin setup, but you'll be getting the normal ones. And last but not the least, a USB Type-C to USB cable to plug into your wall charger, as well as your Mac or Windows machine for data transfers. The quality? Great. That's pretty much everything in the box and here it comes, ladies and gentlemen, the common man's super phone, the Lay One S. Wait, let's take off that screen guard first. So here is the Lee TV, Le One S. Looks really beautiful from all the sides, really nice covered in all metal. This is the aircraft grade aluminium and it's given like a brushed metal look and it really complements the beauty of the phone overall. The USB Type-C port is a really nice addition to the, a phone in this price segment and this is probably one of the first phones that you'll be seeing in the market that has this USB Type-C port. For now, no other phone has this. The overall beauty of the phone is really amazing. It won't cease to amaze you at any point. Everything is made in a symmetric way. On the top, you can see the earphone surrounded by two black dots that scream symmetry, which are basically the 5 megapixel front camera and the proximity sensor. Now on the top of the phone is the 3.5mm jack and the IR blaster that you could use to control your TV and other appliances that work on the IR module. The phone has a really nice brushed finish on the sides and on the right side of the phone is the power button along with the volume rocker keys. This right here is a SIM ejector tool, just insert it to the side of the SIM, take out the SIM tray and you can simply place a micro SIM and a nano SIM in the same module at a time. Now let's boot the phone and see what's on the inside. Now EUI or Eco UI is the Android ecosystem that Lee TV has. It's a minimal skin on top of the AOSP project and has really great stability and looks really nice. The first thing that I would recommend you to do after you get the new phone is set up the fingerprint lock. Just go to the screen lock menu, enter the password first that will be used as an alternative to sign in just in case your fingerprint does not match. It asks for the Lay TV sign up. If you want, you can go and sign up. I'm just gonna skip this. And now just on the back of the phone, tap with your finger and do this repeatedly in order for the phone to scan your fingerprints. Just keep doing it until it's completely done. So now I have set up the fingerprints and you can see it takes pretty less time to unlock the screen. The wait is almost like half of a second in terms of real usage. Maybe it's even lesser on the paper and maybe it will become even faster if you scan your fingers more times and adding up to that you can add more fingerprints to the phone, maybe different fingers or maybe with different people which will help you authenticate in various means. Right out of the box the phone comes with Android 5.0.2 and will probably be updated in Android Marshmallow very soon. Overall the performance of the phone is really nice, I don't see any lags whatsoever and it really uses that 3GB RAM pretty nicely, all the app transitions and everything is pretty smooth. The overall design guideline and the way the phone is built around all the metals, I personally think the phone looks really beautiful and it's a pretty nice buy. So that's pretty much all guys, I'll be doing a complete review of the phone along with the benchmarks video, gaming and camera reviews, it should be up in this week. Everything is almost done, I'm just uploading these videos a little bit late because I was invested in something important. Finally, all these videos will be out in this week, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you'll be updated and make sure that you turn on the notifications so you get notified of my videos as soon as I make them. Thanks for watching the video guys, this is Chronostech signing off.